breaking news alerts and the hour-by-hour forecast from the Weather Authority. This is Good Morning Cincinnati, live on Local 12. It is 7.07 now and 68 outside. Turning to man's best friend. How a local senior care center is turning to dogs like Midas to help patients with problems like dementia. And great results they're seeing thanks to a four-legged friend. All right, Liz, over to you and some special friends. I do. I have some great friends here. If you're not familiar with this program, for people with dementia, you may know life can be a bit challenging. It can also be very isolating if you have mental or physical health problems. But a local senior care provider joining us today has a great way to provide some therapy. As you can see, we have a very calm friend here. Joining me now, the executive director of the Kenwood by Senior Star, Tom Rotz. Good morning to you. Good morning. And you have a friend with you. Let's like not ignore the obvious here. That's right. Yeah, He's this is us. Midas. He is our, um, well, he's King Midas back at the Kenwood, but uh, he is our therapy dog that uh, we use throughout the building, actually, but he pretty much uh, lives in our um, memory care uh, area. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. I've kind of been familiar with how you've used therapy dogs mm -hmm. throughout the years, but this is sort of a newer concept. It is. Um, Midas was trained um, the same way most um, working dogs are, uh, with very specific skill sets, but his basically is just to be very docile, calm, and loving, so he was a uh, selected specifically for those traits and uh, along with helping um, just our residents be a little more calmer. Uh, he's great just to hug and, and uh, 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 actually bring some life out of some of our residents. Now, okay, are we allowed to get him to stand up a little bit? Well, it's early, but we'll I know, try. I Can you get up? I didn't sure. I'm like, I just feel like get he's up. being left out a little bit. There we here. go. Oh, there you go. And I'm always careful because I know they're kind of trained to behave a certain way. Mm -hmm. so, for people not familiar sit. with the Kenwood by <laughs> Senior Star, just tell us a little bit about your organization, mm -hmm. what you sure. do, who you serve, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Um, the Kenwood is a, a retirement community. We have um, independent living apartments as well as assisted living, uh, skilled nursing, and then the memory care. And so you use the therapy dogs at what level? All levels for all people? They, it, he is used at all levels. Specifically, he's been trained to work with um, folks with dementia, mm -hmm. uh, but he is often uh, seen running around the independent living apartments, assisted living. Um, in fact, one of our um, skilled residents that uh, was in independent living and uh, went over to skilled for, to do some rehabilitation uh, specifically asked that uh, he come up and see her. So uh, it was a ni uh. nice little uh, feeling of home for her. Now I know you have um, different levels of care, so what level um, can you use the dog or can you use in all levels? Or? All levels, absolutely. Where, where he's really specifically been trained for is folks uh, with dementia. Uh, and again, it's um, some folks um, with Alzheimer's sometimes will be agitated because they don't really know where they're at. And uh, he brings a real calming to them. But there's also folks that don't speak, don't um, uh, really exhibit any sort of outward uh, communication that open up when he's around. They love to hug him and talk to him where usually he won't, they won't do anything. Yeah, it is so interesting to see that. I know they're using these now like PTSD and that, and it's almost like the dog just puts a head on their lap mm -hmm. and look at them, and they just, you watch their whole spirit, sort of that agitation just decrease. Absolutely, yeah. and everyone. I'll tell you, the, uh, the, he, the staff love him, <laughs> the families love him, everybody loves him. You could him. use a newsroom, Midas, let me tell That's you. That's right. <laughs> What's well, really great, too, because some of um, the children of our residents come in and they don't know how to act with right. a grandparent, and this is a great medium for them to uh, relate to each other with. Kind of bridge that gap. Okay, mm -hmm. we have a full screen. We just want to let people know a little bit more information about some of the things you do. Where you are, you're on Kenwood Road. There's a number to call there. You also have a website that people can find out a little bit more about your program, how it works. Mm -hmm. Are you um, working only with Midas, or do you have other pets that participate, or how does that work? Midas is our um, only dog, um, but uh, he uh, does a pretty good job. He does a little bit of overtime here and there, but uh, he, he is our only I'm thinking dog. that's a lot of work. He's no yeah, wonder he's dog tired. It's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you for bringing him in. We know it's early, my friend. We understand. We feel your pain. Yes. <laughs> but he is just so well behaved, and it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for what you do. Our pleasure. To serve this community. So many of us are, you know, working with parents as they're mm -hmm. aging, and it's comforting to know that you're there. Well, we thank you. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. All right, and we're going to be right back.